So when you broke the story that uh, that Tom Brady was retiring um, back in the back in the day, it feels like a year ago. When was that? Yeah. I know, right? It was uh, it was Championship Weekend, right? It was yeah. going into that, and and everyone's kind of like, "What's up with that?" And he and I'll never forget it. Of course, <laughs> I'm sure you won't. So, uh, wh- what do you think? Was he was he uh, thinking of joining Steve Ross's ownership group at that time? What do you think of that story that Boston Globe and ever, and uh, our our friend Florio has put out there quite a bit? Yeah. There is definitely fire to the smoke. Um, no question about that. I think it's a little, we have to be a little bit careful of of trying to connect dots. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle that that don't necessarily need to be connected. And I I, I know that's a weird cryptic thing to say, but what I would say is that certainly um, the relationships between Tom Brady and Bruce Beal, for instance, a minority owner of the Dolphins had created conversations about what Tom would do post-career. And those it absolutely was about, you know, minority ownership. Um, the one thing I'd say to that, though, is that there, wasn't a de- there was not a deal in place. It wasn't done. Um, and would it have gotten done? I, I really don't know. I don't know. But I do know that when Tom retired, it wasn't just about that. Um, there was a lot of things that were weighing on him at that point in terms of just his thoughts about um, whether, for instance, like he didn't want to come back and it, and it turned into a big farewell tour for him every single week. Uh, his body was tired at the time. So uh, there were parts of his decision to retire when I was reflecting on them, thinking, man, this doesn't necessarily feel like he's, he's fully satisfied as he, put, as he hangs it up, but, um, but that didn't change the fact that he was, in fact, at that moment, willing to retire if not ready to retire where do you and your reporting stand then uh best you can share uh on uh, brady's thinking at that very time when he initially retired that um he didn't want to play for bruce arians anymore and thus arians is out now that he's back where do you stand on I, that subject i mean matter? i, I talked to a lot of people about that and i think it's i don't I, I first of all do not think he was retiring under the um for the reason that bruce arians was the coach uh, when he came back and decided to come back, I am fully convinced that he was doing so knowing that Bruce Arians would be his head coach. And I think that that says a lot about where the relationship is. Um, did Tom, over the past two years, become frustrated at times with different elements of game planning and, and the way that things were going? Yes, but he did in New England too. And I think it's very important to remember that. There were definitely moments when uh, – I feel like people were wondering, gosh, does he regret coming down? Belichick was such a more disciplined guy. I can tell you emphatically he never had regret for one second. And that to, to this day, his relationship with Arians is solid. I've talked to Arians about it himself. Um, you know, they definitely went at it at times. They got into it at times. But generally speaking, uh, I wouldn't say it was any – unhealthier than a lot of coach quarterback relationships that exist around the NFL currently that probably everybody thinks are perfectly kumbaya. So the Brady retirement and joining the Dolphins uh, and that, that that did not happen because of the Flores lawsuit. Do you think Uh, think that's the thing? I I don't know that I would go so, so far as to say that Um, could it have played a role in it? Certainly, but the deal wasn't done yet anyway. So it's still, I mean, a deal, a deal for minority ownership is elaborate, extensive, and complicated. Um, the ink was not on the paper, and I do know that that wasn't going to, the negotiations on that weren't going to get intense until after he retired. And quite honestly, there was only really four to five hours that existed between the time that Tom retired and the time that Flores filed his lawsuit. So I guess so, we, we we know for sure Brady does not want a, re, a Coach K type year, right? Like where he's retired and he's, he's going to – not. Okay, and did. I mean, I, I think he knows that – you know, I think he'd prefer – and I, again, I don't want to put words in his mouth. It's right. not coming from him. It's just more what I've gathered over the past year is that he'd love to not talk about it at all. I mean, eventually <laughs> do exactly what he did this year. I know it's such a – I think I thought at this point, yeah. 20 years into this, but he truly, I think he hates this part of it. And it's part of the reason he retired was that it was like, I, I just don't want to. And by the way, it's part of the reason when he did retire, he did it through an Instagram post. Like people, you know, like 
he, he didn't he wasn't trying to make a big deal about even the day that he retired, because I think people, as much as they think that he is so polished in every regard, and he is, mm-hmm. the thing that he still cares the most about is just playing football. And when he was ready to call it a career, he was ready to just, just say, I'm done, until he wasn't. Well, the narrative is, Jeff, that uh, he had a whole big uh, elaborate uh, to do to actually make this announcement. It, right? And that, yeah, yeah and that yeah. you spoiled the party. Like, you literally and then he decided, like, <laughs> I'm just not going to, all these, I'm not going to thank the Patriots because of Darlington. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about? <laughs> That's funny. Or, or that me and Adam drove him into retirement. <sighs> So, power, so power I did not know I held. But in in all seriousness, how, how will his contract conversations that that if he has them or he doesn't have them or what he's going to do with uh, Jason Light right now of the Bucks inform us yeah. of whether this is in fact his last year and what his future plans are, Jeff? Yeah, I think that's that's um, that's what they have to figure out, uh, and I mean that truly. I, I think it's as much of a a, a situation where again. I just think I don't think Tom wants this to be a deal where he says this is my last year, and he, I think he knows that if he, you know, that's it's it's kind of just going to be like that, and he doesn't ever have to say it, and we don't ever have to, you know, formally do the Coach K thing ever game or the Dwayne Wade thing ever game. But um, look, when he left the field this year for the final time and week after that Rams game, I stood there knowing, kind of deep down in my gut, mm-hmm. that that was the last time I was going to see Tom Brady run out of that tunnel. Uh, I would suggest that anybody who cares about the legacy of watching Tom Brady do the same every time they see him run out of the tunnel this coming season. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.